Shajirina Moni lives in Juba. Six of her nine children have died of various illnesses. The first one died at nine months, another one died at the age of 10 months, another one died when he was crawling, about three months. Millions of children in South Sudan do not get routine vaccinations. Now, the country is battling an unprecedented measles outbreak with over 4,700 confirmed cases and 26 deaths since January 2019. In February, a nationwide measles vaccination campaign was launched here, the only children's hospital in the entire country. The campaign aims to reach two and a half million children by April. One reason why childhood immunization coverage is so low is because of the challenges in keeping vaccines at near freezing temperatures. We are able to keep these things at the correct temperature in the hospital here. That is the most important thing. UNICEF provided the solar-powered fridge. The organization is helping to restore what is known in healthcare terms as the cold chain system, which was severely disrupted during the civil war that broke out in 2013. Even private partners like Continental Medical Supplies are getting involved to make sure life-saving medicines stay fresh at every step in the cold chain. If you to chain, the product will be 100 percent destroyed. Another reason why immunization coverage is low is because people aren't informed. Sometimes I lock the doors. So if they did not come and know that this house has uh, kids and they do not come, then I'll go and lock the door. Huh? We are all doing vaccine, why are you not coming? So I'm busy, I'm not saying, can I have your kids and I'll return it? But they say it's okay. The efforts are paying off. So far, the vaccination campaign has reached more than a million children, including Shejarinas. Chika Odua, for VOA News, Juba, South Sudan.